in the immediately preceding video we ended with, Then they all came to Jesus and with loud cries besought him, saying, Master, have compassion on him, for he suffers more than we all. And if you do not at once cast Satan out of him, we fear he will not live until tomorrow. And then now continuing. And Jesus answered them, Great is your faith. Be it according to your faith. And you shall see soon, face to face, the frightful countenance of Satan and the power of the Son of Man. For I will cast out from you the powerful Satan by the strength of the innocent Lamb of God, the weakest creature of the world. For the Holy Spirit of God makes more powerful the weakest than the strongest. And Jesus milked and you, which was feeding among the grass, and he put the milk upon the sand made hot by the sun, saying, Lo, the power of the angel of water has entered this milk, and now the power of the angel of sunshine will enter it also. And the milk became hot by the strength of the sun, and now the angels of water and of sun will join with the angel of air. And lo, the vapor of the hot milk began to rise slowly into the air. Come and breathe in by your mouth the strength of the angels of water, of sunshine, and of air, that it may come into your body and cast out the Satan from you. And the sick man, whom Satan tormented, did breathe within himself deeply the rising whitish vapor. Straightway will Satan leave your body, since for three days he starves and finds no food within you. He will come out of you to satisfy his hunger by the hot steaming milk, for this food finds favor in his sight. He will smell its smell and will not be able to resist the hunger which has tormented him three days already. But the Son of Man will destroy his body, that he may torment none else again. Then the sick man's body was seized with an ag, and he retched as though he would vomit, but he could not, and he gasped for air, for his breath was spent, and he fainted on the lap of Jesus. Now does Satan leave his body, see him. And Jesus pointed to the sick man's open mouth. And then they all saw with astonishment and a terror that Satan was coming out from his mouth in the shape of an abominable worm, straight towards the steaming milk. Then Jesus took two sharp stones in his hand and crushed the head of Satan and drew out from the sick man all the body of the monster, which was almost as long as the man. When the abominable worm came out of the sick man's throat, he recovered at once his breath and then all his pains ceased and the others looked with terror at the abominable body of Satan. See, what an abominable beast you carried and it nourished in your body for long years. I have cast it out of you and killed it that it may never again torment you. Give thanks to God that his angels have made you free and sin no more, lest Satan return to you again. Let your body be henceforth a temple dedicated to your God. And they all were amazed at his words and at his power. And they said, Master, you are indeed God's messenger and do know all secrets. And you, answered Jesus, be true sons of God, that you also may partake in his power and in the knowledge of all secrets. For wisdom and power can come only from the love of God, 
Love, therefore, your heavenly Father and your earthly mother with all your heart and with all your spirit, and serve them that their angels may serve you also. Let all your deeds be sacrificed to God, and feed not Satan, for the wages of sin is death, but with God lies the reward of the good, his love, which is knowledge and power of eternal life. And they all knelt down to give thanks to God for his love. And Jesus departed, saying, I will come again to all who persist in prayer and fasting until the seventh day. Peace be with you. See you in the next video. Be well.